Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick282K and today I have some interesting demonstrations of the interaction between electricity and magnetism. This first example shows a magnet and a screw spinning due to the Lorentz force. This is the force that occurs when you have an electric charge moving at right angles to a magnetic field. The magnetic field comes straight up out of the magnet and the electric charge is moving inwards from the wire to the screw. The force shown under the red line in this diagram is at right angles to both, causing the whole thing to spin. Here a volume of salt water with a ring-shaped electrode is put above a magnet. When electricity runs from the ring-shaped electrode to a center electrode, the water experiences a force. This is the same Lorentz force as in the Faraday homopolar motor. In the water, the flow seems very turbulent because there's different concentrations of magnetic flux uh, throughout the volume of water. So some of the water feels more of a force than other parts. In this last example, an electric arc between two ring-shaped electrodes experiences the same Lorentz force when in a magnetic field. Although it may not look like it, this is the mechanism behind the northern lights. High up in the atmosphere, where there isn't a lot of air to get in the way of uh, fast moving charged particles, those moving charged particles interact with the magnetic field of the Earth and the Sun to produce very complex shapes that you can see at the North and South Pole. Although these demos were all visually quite different, they all rely on the same basic interaction between electricity and magnetism. This is the same interaction that is used to explain the motion of electric motors, rail guns, or how an old CRT picture tube is focused. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and check out some of my other electrical videos. Thanks for watching.